Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another video with the Roshank Redemption, and today I've got another episode of Pokemon Volwa 2 for you guys. In the last episode, we barely defeated Marlon in yet another crazy gym battle. The gym, the gym leader battles have been really hard recently. I struggled a ton with Drain, and I struggled like potentially even harder with Marlon. Marlon, like the brosive Australian dude. I gave him the strangest accent of all time. I actually, like, forgot my accent midway through, like, when I was talking to him. I was like, what the heck do we do? Uh, but in this episode, we're gonna start things off by taking off potentially my least, well, not my least favorite, but my least favorite gym leaders to go up against. I like them as gym leaders, but they're just really hard, so I should probably put Blackbeard out in front, huh? Chandelure and Blackbeard sounds good. Oh, I already have them out in front, actually, so that, that's very convenient. All right. I'm not, I think this may actually just be a single battle. It's always so creepy how they're, like, talking in sync. It's just, like, very strange. Oh, it is a double battle. Never mind. Can you beat it? I am actually not sure. <laughs> I'm I am very unsure as to whether I can beat it. Because this is... Oh, only four Pokemon? Wow, okay. That's surprising. I'm surprised. I thought I thought it would... Knowing Dreano, I figured he would give them, like, eight Pokemon or something. That is, that is some high levels. I was expecting them to be a little bit le uh, lower level compared to Marlin. But it looks like they're about the same. They're, like, reasonably close. This is, I was hoping this would be like sort of a chill battle, like a more chill battle, not, not a chill battle, because a, a battle against a gym leader is never going to be chill, but I was hoping it's going to be a little bit more chill than Marlin, so we'll have to see. That does nothing, literally nothing. And this is going to do nothing to this Rayuniclus, because Rayuniclus is a monster. Rayuniclus is such a good Pokemon, oh my gosh, Blackbeard, you wrecked it, holy crap. No, no, stop it, Gothitelle. Gothitelle is the biggest troll. If you guys have seen my, my Trick Room session, which I just realized I haven't uploaded the entirety of- I still have some episodes to upload of my Trick Room session. I just forgot to upload the rest. The fact that it's hitting means it didn't go for Chandelure, which means my Sharp is dead. Dang it. Okay. This is already looking bad. I suppose the fact that my Sharp was paralyzed means it was sort of useless anyway. It's not useless, but it was less useful. I don't know. I deleted, I deleted Crunch off Salamence because I'm a dumbass. Well, not because I'm a dumbass, because it learned Dragon Claw, and it only had HM moves, which I should have deleted, so I guess I am a dumbass. But anyways, let's go ahead and... We're going to Hex that Rayuniclus, and we are going to Nasty Plot. Yeah, we're going to Nasty Plot. Why not? I don't think that that the uh, these two twins can actually do anything to Boa. I'm not 100% sure, though. I mean, like, what is Focus Blast and Crab going to do? And the, the only thing that Cofferkrigus is weak to, if I'm not mistaken, is Ground and Fire. And if they have any Ground and Fire type moves, I'd be shocked. Well, maybe on their next Pokemon, but not on this Pokemon. And can you please stop T-Waving? Please! I'm going to reach through that screen, grab, grab that Gothitelle, and just squeeze it until blood comes out. That was such an overreaction, but I hate Paralysis. Ugh! I'm gonna lose my voice from all this yelling, it's absurd. And we're only like four minutes into the freaking video. We're gonna hex that Reuniclus again. And we're gonna we're gonna shadow ball and destroy that Gothitelle. I should have I should have used a paralyzed heal. Oh crap, okay. Never mind, we we might just die here, which would be bad. Actually, I think we could take one. We're Chandelure. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, holy crap, thunder when I first saw that. This should kill, maybe? Oh come on. You stupid Gothitelle. Dang it. Thank you for thank you for killing with that Sabo though. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use Sabo's turn to actually revive Blackbeard. And I'm kicking I'm kicking the bottom of my chair. That's a very bad habit I have. Whenever I sit down, I just start like I I don't know if you know what I mean, but I start kicking the bottom of my chair with my heels. You guys probably have no idea what I'm talking about. I have some very strange habits when I sit down. I also lean back a ton, and sometimes, like, this happens more than you would think. Sometimes I'm in the middle of, like, watching a video, and something crazy will happen, or, like, you know, I'm, I'm playing, and something crazy will happen, and I'll be leaning back in my chair, I'll just be so shocked, and I'll just, like, fall backwards and hit my head, and it'll just be funny, I guess. <laughs> Not funny for me. Whenever I do crap like that, my sister just laughs at me, and it's like, come on, Tanisha, you don't, <laughs> you don't have to laugh at me for that. I don't know, <laughs> I don't, I don't like dislike my sister or anything though, obviously. I like to think I have a pretty good relationship with my family. I've talked about it before. We're, we're getting into a pretty morbid discussion here. I used to have like a, I don't know, we, we've had some problems in the past, I guess, but uh, things are better now. I really shouldn't talk about this and we're here to play Pokemon and not talk about depressing crap. We're here to kill shit like this soul rock. Bo is just annihilating things. Bo is stealing their souls. Uh, let's go ahead and go into Blackbeard. Alright, we're gonna, we're gonna wreck this thing so hard. We're gonna, the, like I said, squeeze it until blood comes out. Although, now that I think about it, I don't really know if a Sucker Punch will work here. I, although, I think we outspeed, actually, with a Night Slash. Let's go ahead and Shadow Ball has got to tell. 
Yeah, okay, we outspent. This should kill. Gothic Tail has pretty crap physical defense, if I'm not mistaken. I'm actually not 100% sure about that. Never mind. Apparently, it has decent physical defense because it took that like a monster. Considering it's a freaking Bisharp that's like two levels higher than it, they took it like a monster. Gothic Tail is the biggest troll. If you guys haven't seen my Trick Room sessions, I actually might not recommend checking them out because they're so stally. I don't know. I do a ton of showdown. I've been talking uh, a ton about doing some showdown with people. You guys already know that I'm going to be doing a ton of showdown for my 1k sub special, which I promise is coming eventually. I just have to I just have to get off work. Work ends in work ends not not this week, not the end of this week, but the end of next week. Although I guess this week is already over because it's like, you know, <laughs> it's Friday. Friday at the time that I'm recording this. I don't know if I'm going to upload it on Friday. Uh, we're going to iron head this thing just to just to change things up. We're going to go for Shadow Ball as well on this thing. Die, you stupid moon thingy with red eyes. That's not going to do anything. I'm very glad that uh, in this generation... Actually, I don't know. I, I don't know how I feel about the whole thing. I was, I was just going to talk about... I don't know how I feel about the whole thing about, about Ghost being neutral on Steel now. Ghost and Dark being neutral. I'm not sure how I feel about it. I feel like potentially it was necessary, I guess, because of Fairy Test. Because Steel is going to get Fairy, but then Steel would be OP if it resisted Dark and Ghost as well. And I actually didn't realize that one of these twins was a guy for the longest time. Yes, it was Shattered. That was actually not a very difficult battle compared to what I thought it was going to be. Wait, is this Route 22? I just want to check quickly. Uh, I'll just check my map. We'll, we'll just use Fly. Alright, to check. Yes, this is Route 22. I think I think Hugar or Gary or whatever the hell you want to call him uh, told us to search Route 22, so we're going to do that. I did battle a couple of trainers here off screen while I was grinding, so if... Uh, if you see if you see some trainers that are that don't want to battle me, that's why. Where are my repels? Uh, do I really have two? I know I have more repels. Super repel. Yes, there we go. I just totally went past it. You guys are probably yelling at me in the comments like, Roshank, you went past your super repel. You're such a dumbass." I agree with that. I am a dumbass. We could use strength to. Nah, we're not gonna do that. Screw that. Oh no, 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 no. no. Oh, should we do it? No. No, 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 don't force me to battle. No, no, I don't know if I want to do this. Oh, Colrus. Oh, crap, okay. It's been a long time. Should I give this guy a voice? Tracheon is what? Okay, no. <laughs> that would have been a strange voice. Colrus is, like, sort of epic. So I don't know if I, I should give him that voice. I should give Getsis that, because Getsis is supposed to be this, like, epic supervillain who's, like, you know, gonna destroy the Unova region, and I'll just give him the voice of, like, a three-year-old. Yes, I do. This going to protect your own Pokemon. Blah, blah, blah. Like I said, this guy would appear to be the opposite of Team Plasma. He's going to give us a gift, which is interesting. Do I, do I want to take on Terrakia on this episode? Oh, man. You know what, guys? Uh, as much as I don't want to, people enjoyed watching my legendary catching fiasco with Cobalion. So I guess I'm going to try and catch this thing. Oh, my gosh. Okay. All right, guys. I'm going to save and get prepared, and I will see you guys in a sec. Screw my life. Alright guys, I am back, and I have a little bit of a surprise for you in this battle. But, holy crap, you guys better believe that I am not looking forward to this at all. And I know that you guys are going to enjoy me struggling with this, so for that, screw you viewers, screw all of you. I know a lot of you enjoyed my last video, so screw you for that. This is going to be absolute hell. Uh, let's go ahead and go for Nightshade. I have Sabo out because of Nightshade. I don't really know if that's the best idea. That's not good. That's, th the fact that these things have Swords Dance is the, is the biggest issue. Like, if they didn't have Swords Dance, it wouldn't really be that much of a problem. I mean, it would still be hard because they have low catch rates. It would just be, like, more annoying than anything else. But the fact that they have Swords Dance means that they can basically wreck your entire team. So, they're super hard to catch because of that. But I do have a countermeasure for this, sort of. I hope it works. Oh, whoa, don't burn, don't, okay, thank you. This is perfect, this is perfect. We're gonna start chucking some Cherish Balls. If I can actually say say the phrase Cherish Balls. But I do have a bit of a surprise for you guys. It's not nothing major or anything, but I withdrew a certain someone, which if that doesn't if that doesn't give you guys a hint, then I don't know what will. But yeah, I don't have any Ultra Ball because I'm still a dumbass and, and I, I haven't stocked up since our last catching fiasco. So I only have I only have those Cherish Balls left over from catching that stupid Cobalion. Screw that Cobalion, by the way. It's gonna- it might just sit in the box for the rest of eternity. Just because- just so I can smite it. Actually, I feel like I would be smiting it harder if I- Why don't you- you ha- I know this thing has Rock Slide. I want Sabo to die, because I need to bring in something else. Oh my gosh, okay. Yeah, but I figure I could smite Cobalion harder if I just used it as an HM slave. If I just taught it, like- if I, like, hacked it so that I taught it Splash. That would be funny. One, two, three! Yes! 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 
Yes! Yes! Thank you! Thank you, God! This is the best day of my life! Okay, no, not really. That's an exaggeration. But thank you! Thank you! For those of you who are looking forward to me struggling with this, screw you! This is- this is- this is a slap in the face to all of you. Not actually, but <laughs> I know that there were some of you out there who were looking forward to seeing me struggle, and uh, to a, to some extent, I am sort of disappointed that I didn't struggle with that because I mean I like to struggle a little bit with catching legendary because it sort of spices things up. So I know how I feel about just catching it that quickly. All right, guys, I am too lazy, so we're just gonna call it Terrakion because I'm lazy. And I sort of just want to move on here. Okay, all right. Thank God for that. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. Thank you. Darkrai wasn't that bad. Oh, Poison Barb, interesting. Uh, does that actually, does that actually good for you? I, I think that, like, reduces your health or something stupid like that. Uh, which makes it sort of a useless item, but... Okay, I think we need to go in here. Do we go into the massive cave in the middle? Oh, yeah, probably. Oh, yeah, this is it. This is probably it? Oh, actually, no, this is not it. The area past here is important. The people heading to Route 2 are definitely important, but we have some important roles as well. Route 2... Why Route 2? Okay. Uh, I hope- I hope this doesn't- I hope this doesn't mean that the glitch screwed things up and then I can't progress on here. He said Route 2. Where is Route 2? Uh, Route 2 is over there. I have the- I have the Fly Anywhere thing on, so... Oh my gosh, okay. I'm not really sure. You know what, guys? I'm gonna look up what to do, because you guys don't want to see me wander around here, so I will see you guys in a second. Alright, guys, I am back, and good news, I found out that the reason why we can't progress on there is not because of the glitch, it's just a part of the game like that. And the place we need to go next is we need to go to Route 21, which I believe is below Humala City, and it's a water route to move on in the game, but I sort of don't want to do that, because that whole thing is a huge fiasco with Team Plasma and all, and I don't really feel like we have time for that this episode, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take on, like, one or two battles this episode, and then probably end things off here. Uh, let's, yeah, okay. The, the surprise I had, by the way, which I didn't get to show up against Terrakion, was to actually have Slave the Dark Rye with me, which maybe I'll try using in this battle. I can see the play in my Pokemon's eyes. They're saying, get back up. I'm okay. Are you, are you not a trainer? What the heck? Wait, did I already take her on off screen or something? I, I forget. Okay. I want to take on, like, one trainer battle and end it off or something. That was, that was sort of the plan here. I know if we'll be able to, uh, freaking wild Pokemon. Dang it. Well, oh, a Piloswine. Piloswine is such an awesome. Mamoswine is actually one of my, probably my second favorite ice type. My favorite ice type is Glaceon. I love Glaceon to death. I really, I really want to use a Glaceon in my next LP, which is sort of a hint as to what it is, but not really. It's a very bad hint. I don't really want to give it away. Wow, there are like no trainers battle. Uh, where are all the trainers? They're supposed to- Oh my gosh, stop! Game Freak, stop being dumb and- Oh, that's a cool Pokemon too, actually. Amoogus is very awesome, and I have, like, the biggest ADD. I was like, Game Freak, stop throwing me at the- Ooh, it's Amoogus. <laughs> Did I just imitate myself? I imitated myself from, like, only I would do something that lame. I have Robin out in front, by the way, because Robin's epic, and we haven't been using her as much recently. And we can- Can we not go this way? Oh my gosh, how do I get there? This is just a fail of an episode. I'm gonna use a Super Repel here. Where are my Repels? Yeah, I apologize, because I just don't really want to move on, and I- I said I sort of want to move faster through the game, but then I realized that we're, like, almost done! And, like, we're only, like, 26 episodes in, I think, or something like that? No! Game, stop trolling me! This is absurd! I don't care about Audino! I love Audino! It's a cool Pokémon, but not right now, game! Ah, uh, and this- it's gonna, like, do its intimidate animation, which is gonna make things take longer. Oh my gosh, okay. I just want to, like, explore that area over there and then move on with my life. That's all I want to do, game. Okay, there we go. Thank you. No! I- Ah! Duh. This game is gonna- This game is pissing me off right now. No! I'm so upset. Okay, there we go. No, that was actually the right way. That was actually the right way. Okay. What about this breeder? This epic breeder. He's not really much of an epic breeder. Ooh, is there something over here, actually? I don't have freaking surf, though. Dang it. Oh my gosh. Okay. Alright, well, uh, hopefully he gives us some good experience, because usually these breeders do give great experience. This thing is gonna get annihilated. Absolutely annihilated by a fly. Or we could just strength, actually. I think we're gonna strength. That's probably a better idea. Strength. Death to this Levani. Levani is an interesting Pokemon. I honestly don't think it's the best. It's it's decent. It's decent. I think it has access to Swords Dance and then it's very fast. I don't have that much experience using it in competitive, but it's it's you know, it's cool. Bug grass Pokemon, an interesting type. It, it's unfortunately got two four times weaknesses, which is never a good thing. We'll stay in. 
I really should have brought Love Disc with me. That would have been nice. Because then we would have been able to surf here. But I didn't because I'm an idiot. And I don't have a good water type Pokemon because I'm an idiot. But what's new, guys? What's new? And we outspent a freaking Crobat. That's epic. Even though we're seven levels high, that's actually very impressive. I'll probably cut out to getting Love Disc and then come back here for you guys because I just love you guys that much. And I'm willing to do all that work for you guys. Go all the way back just for you guys. Let's go into Sabo. We'll go with we'll go for a flamethrower. That should Oko this Lucario. I'd be very surprised if for whatever reason it didn't. Die you Lucario. Die you stupid dog thingy. I actually like Lucario. I'm not gonna call it stupid dog thingy. Lucario is an epic Pokemon. Mega Lucario is just OP. It's just like straight OP. There's like nothing you can do against it. With that freaking adaptability like bullet punch and like, you know, crap like that. It's so strong. I'm yeah, I don't know. I mean, like, in terms of the best Mega Evolution out there, it's it's a toss-up between a couple of them, and Mega Lucario is definitely in the conversation, I'd say. Oh, yeah, okay, I'm gonna cut out, guys, and I'll see you guys in a sec. Alright, guys, I am back with Love Disk, and we can finally explore this area here, and holy crap, that took, like, ten times longer than it should have, because I kept falling off the ledge, and this stupid bastard of a breeder decided to challenge me to another battle for no reason. I mean, it's a nice, nice way to gain experience, but still, like... Wait, this is it? This is all- What was the point of that? I, there's nothing here! Is there- is there an item on this rock? No? Okay, alright, fine, Nintendo. I came all the way here for nothing. Screw you. Screw you, Game Freak. The game always loves to smite me. It's just the most annoying thing. Uh, but yeah, guys, that is gonna do it for this pathetic-ass episode of Pokemon Volt Y2. We didn't really do all that much this video. I suppose we did beat a gym leader. We did challenge Shrekin, so I suppose that is good. But honestly, guys, I sort of wanted to slow down a little bit because we challenged two gyms straight in the last two episodes. I I, I do want- I don't want this LP to be too long, but I don't want it to be too short. Uh, but yeah, guys, as usual, thanks for watching. Please feel free to like, comment, rate, and subscribe. The comment question of the day is what is the easiest slash best experience you have ever had in catching a legendary. That experience with Terrakion was not the easiest experience. Um, previously, when I was trying to capture Kyogre, and I think Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver, I caught it on full health with a Pokeball. That is the easiest and best time I've ever had catching a legendary, and I was absolutely freaking out. Uh, but let me know what your guys' easiest legendary catching experience was, and I will see you in the next episode of Pokemon Volt Y2.